everyone, this is Becky with iHeart Art Studios and today I am going to show you how to create this super easy geometric shape painting and you really don't need a whole lot of supplies and you don't need a whole lot of time. So I'm going to walk you through step by step how you can create this at home or if this is something that you just don't want to worry about how to create this, I would be happy to do either an online class or even invite you to come in the studio to create something like this. And there are so many different options and designs that you can create, but I'm going to just try and keep it really simple for this video today. And I'm going to show you what you would need and how to do this. And don't leave. I would suggest watch until the very end because I will have a very special announcement about what um, you could do with this when you are all finished. So what you're going to need is a blank canvas. I've actually seen people do this on their walls, which is pretty cool. Um, you are going to need some painter's tape. I would suggest um, this is just plain old blue tape. And you're going to need some paint colors. So I am going to be using coral, teal, and navy blue some of my favorite color combinations, and then you'll be needing a paintbrush. So uh, for the matter of time today, I have decided to just use three paintbrushes, one for each color, so I don't have to worry about cleaning my brushes in between, <laughs> just to save time, right? Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna do is we are going to mark out our shapes by using the blue tape. So, Oh, this must be the first time I'm using this roll because it's brand new. And I am really no rhyme or reason here. I'm just going to start by putting a piece across the center. Hopefully you'll be able to see as I do this. And I just suggest trying to eyeball it. And then you want to press it down nice and firm. That way it will stick here and you'll be good to go with your first piece of tape. Awesome, look at that, two rectangles, geometric shapes, right? <laughs> the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a cross line to go across, just to kind of start some of the triangle shapes that I love so much. And I'm gonna keep it nice and long and just kind of come here and over the edge. Press down nice and firm and have that tape go right over the edge. This is also a really fun project to do with maybe some of your mini makers. If you have littler kids at home and they have a hard time staying in the lines, this is a really fun activity for them to do. All right, I'm going to cross over here. I'm gonna see a little triangle right here. And the reason I like blue tape so much is it's really easy to just tear it, so I don't have to try and use a scissors every time. Blue tape comes in a lot of different sizes, widths, and there is a thicker and a thinner version of this. Um, this. This size tends to work for what I do a lot. But if you have this size, you can always thicken your lines by just doing a double line like that. But I won't be doing that for this video. Um, I think what I'm going to do is just kind of create some other little authentic lines, shapes and such. So here, come across, press down. Because it's a canvas, it is wrapped, it is a wrapped canvas. When you're pressing down, I mean you don't want to press where you're pushing with the finger. I would suggest using your flat fingers and just kind of rub that down so it's not going to press too much and create indentations onto the canvas. Although canvases do tend to have a little bit of give to them where they can, you know, there is some buoyancy to them. And um, it really doesn't show too much unless you're using a very, very cheap canvas. Um, but once it's painted, a lot of those little indentations from fingers and things go away. You can't even see them. I'm liking how this is going. What do you think? Have you ever done anything like this? Please make a comment. Let me know if you have ever tried it. Um, and if you have, what was your experience with it? I would love to hear and get some feedback from you on, on how you 
thought this project went for yourself. And if you haven't done it yet, please click the subscribe button so that way you won't miss any of my new videos. And you can also click the bell icon because I do plan to do live videos every so often. That way you won't miss anything and you won't want to miss the fun that I'm going to have happening. Don't forget, stay till the end because there's something exciting that will be happening soon. Now you don't have to have any like fancy design skills for this. It really is just putting the tape on and finding cool shapes as you're putting the tape on and making sure that your tape goes as far as you want it to. <laughs> uh oh, it's a little short right there. It should be fine. I'm not worried. We don't go for perfection here. We just go for having a fun time. Um, okay, so here, I tend to get stuck in this um, area and I don't want to get stuck worrying too much about my shapes. So I'm just going to have a fun time kind of designing and creating these authentic geometric shapes. So I have some larger ones, some smaller ones. I think it looks kind of fun. I think I could go ahead and get started with the painting. Make sure all of your tape lines are pressed down. Now, one reason that it can be frustrating for painters to paint when you're using paint lines is regardless of the type of tape that you're using, there will be some places where the paint will go underneath the tape. So what I'm going to do is, um, and there's nothing more satisfying than pulling off the tape and seeing nice lines. So what I'm going to do when I'm adding my paint colors is I don't want to be pressing my brush up to the paint, like up to the edge like this. I want to start on the tape and press it outward. This will help reduce some of the, um, that bleeding of the color that happens underneath the tape. So just make sure that you're going away from the tape with your brush strokes as you're, as you're doing this. I also kind of want to plan out where my colors are going to be because I don't want them to be right next to each other. I don't want to put a coral and a coral next to each other. I want to make sure that I have a proper place for each of my colors. And this could be helpful if you use a pencil and you plan it out for today's purpose. I'm just gonna do it and let's see what happens. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the teal color. I'm gonna do this big one here with the teal. Now, I told you to go against the grain, but here I'm going up and down the grain. That is also, like with the tape, that's also totally fine. Um, or just go against the, or away from that tape. So, Tell me, what type of other videos would you like to see? I want to be better at posting things to my YouTube, um, my YouTube platform, um, which would be a little bit more unique than what I do on Facebook. And so I just am curious what type of things you would like to see. I do plan to do tutorials like this, but I also want to do some um, reviewing of products and such. So in my mind here, I'm thinking I'm gonna do navy blue, light blue, coral. So if I do coral here, then I can do um, this navy blue or coral, or uh, the teal, I always get so confused. So teal here, a different color, so I'm gonna do my teal right here. I'll do it here. This will be coral, navy blue, Teal, so I might actually have to do a teal one here. Because, well, I could do coral, teal. Oh, okay, this is what I'll do. I'll do, we'll see if this works. <sighs> and if worse comes to worse and I end up with two colors that are next to each other, it happens. All right, so then down here, I'm gonna do my teal over here. Hopefully I've planned this in a proper way. Uh, the worst thing that could happen is I would have a color next to each other, or maybe I would have to even, <laughs> you know, add another color to the mix. But I think it's kind of nice to just keep it with the three colors because the white will be underneath. A lot of people like to paint the sides of their canvases, so I would suggest if you're doing it, you should just do it as you go. 
I normally don't do the tops and the sides when I'm doing uh, demonstrations just because it does take more time, but I'll do it for you. Okay, so here if I have navy blue, coral, teal, navy blue, teal, okay, I think I'm, I think I'm going here. Do, do, do. And okay, navy blue, coral, navy blue. I think I'm going to have to do right here. And almost done with this color. And then let's see here. Okay, teal, coral, navy blue. I think I'll do one more right here. If I had my, <laughs> I was holding my, so my paints all kind of bled into each other. Do I say right here? Yes. Okay, I think I'll do this one. Ah, I don't want to pick up any of that other color, and I was not doing very good with my holding of my, look at that. My blues and my coral are all kind of squished together there. Do I have enough to make it to the end? I do. All right. All right, woohoo. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch colors and I think I'm gonna do the coral next. So um, the coral, it's just, I'm just using a different brush, but you would wanna wash your brush well before you switched into using a different color. Going against, away from the tape to help reduce the amount of paint that gets under the tape. Now, some people will say it's the type of painter's tape that you use. You could try definitely using different types of tape and see if some are more sticky than others. But personally, I like to have a tape that is going to pull off easily also. So I don't wanna have to really try and rip it off to get that to come off. So I'm gonna have a navy here and then a coral here again. I can actually see that the tape is not sticking super great in certain spots. So we'll see what it will look like. Navy coral here. I'm so excited to see how this is going to turn out. Stick around to the end because it'll be a super special surprise. Oh yes, yeah, so I was painting the edges here. So coral, navy coral here, this big one, coral, yes. Oh, I think it's going to be perfect. All of my geometric shapes are going to be none of them will be next to each other. That's wonderful. Do you have a favorite geometric shape? If so, let me know. Write it in the comments. Is it a square? Is it a triangle? Is it a rectangle? If I had to pick a favorite geometric shape, what would it be? Hmm. That is a very good question. Now I'm going to switch to my navy and do the remaining shapes that I have open. I do like the triangle shape. I also like a square. I feel like there's so many things that you can do um, when you're drawing with shapes because actually most drawings come from shapes and when I draw birds I use a lot of circles and triangles. I will say geometry was not one of my best subjects in school. <laughs> I always tell people I love art. Math? Not so much. But math is also amazing. But I like to have um, more of the creative shapes, authentic shapes, than trying to make more. Um, I always try and tell people when you're trying to be random, when you're putting things onto canvases when you're painting, we, our brains, want things to be symmetrical, mathematical, and a lot of times we have to be more random, and that is really hard for a lot of people. So if you feel like 
you always have a very mathematical pattern to your paintings, then maybe you would love to do a painting like this. But I love how easy this is because I don't have to worry about staying in the lines. I can, you know, my colors are on the tape. It's, it's just such an easy project that I think anyone can do as long as you don't get hung up on making your shapes perfect because I don't believe in being perfect when you're creating art. I believe in having fun. And I try and tell people that creating art can be really scary and it's even scarier if we're perfectionists about it because paint has a mind of its own and you can't always control where or how it moves on the canvas. I mean, most of the time you can, but some of the best and most creative paintings happen because something didn't go right. And that is 100% true. And I like to use, um, all of my paintings here are done with acrylic paint and it dries pretty fast. So when it's dried, you can just paint right over it if you need to make any corrections to things. All right, here we go. Real time. This is a real time project that you can do. No editing is happening here, okay? Real time. So from start to finish, my timer says 16 minutes. I did kind of take a break to talk to you a little bit. So I would say in under 15 minutes, you could do this project at home with as long as you have the supplies that you need. Now, taking the paint tape off the painters tape off my personal suggestion for you would be to wait for it to be totally dry before you start doing this that way if as you're pulling it off the paint the painting tape happens to fall into like if the color is on the tape here so if I'm starting to pull this off and they're still wet on the tape if it accidentally gets into this navy blue it will be very frustrating now I'm already gonna plan that there will be some paint that gets under the tape I'm not gonna worry about it though, because this process is still gonna be really satisfying when you pull off the tape, okay? So I'm gonna start right here. This little piece. Oh, it's amazing. Let's have some fun as we pull this off. Let's talk about how amazing it is. Okay, the next piece I'm gonna, so I'm trying to look at the last ones I put on because some of these are very crisscrossy. So right here is a piece, pull this off. Now, I'm gonna show something to you. And I tell this to people all of the time. Don't show your mistakes, okay? These aren't mistakes, this is what happens when you are using tape. There is, they're not always super clean lines. From a distance, it looks fantastic, doesn't it? Up close though, can you see it's not perfect? But this is about having fun, okay? So I'm not gonna worry about that because overall, the picture is going to look amazing. Don't leave, don't leave, don't leave. There's so many exciting things happening right here. Okay. Oh, another one. I love this color combination. Love it. Absolutely love it. Okay, I think this one here I can pull off. So exciting. Okay. Which one's next? I think we can do this one now. Oh, look at my hands. They're all getting full of paint. So I have to be careful not to like touch the white spots. Uh -oh. And it goes underneath. Oh, it's getting better. Okay. Let's keep going. Which one should we do next? I think I'm going to do this one right here. So satisfying. You're going to wish that you were doing this. But guess what? You can. Because I'm impatient and I'm not waiting for it to dry, ugh, there is a risk that the color from the tape could get onto the white spot. So I, I, should, I should be more careful, okay? All right, next I'm gonna do this one because this crosses over. Only two 
two strips left. This one here. Okay, are you ready? <laughs> so pretty. So pretty. I hope you get excited like this about your work because why not? right? Be proud of what you do, whether it works or not, because this is still really cool. And the colors are amazing. Last one. And then the final reveal. If I can pull it off. Okay. I'm learning. I think I should tape my gamut down. Here we go. Final review. Final reveal. Ah! It turned out amazing. It really is amazing. I am so, I like, I almost want to paint this on my wall. It is so cool. So you stuck around. <laughs> Here's the thing. I'm going to give this away. Okay. To whoever watches here to the end. Um, so what I want you to do is I want you to type. I want that shape. How about that? I want that shape. So, if you type in the comments, I want that shape, you will be entered into drawing this. I will go live to announce all of the winners. And today is Wednesday. So if you watch this, today's Wednesday, August 12th, 12th I think. Um, I think it's the 12th. There, I'll keep this open until Saturday morning at 9 a.m. Central Standard Time, okay? Saturday morning, Central Standard Time, August 12th, 13th, wait, Thursday, I don't know. You'll have to look at the calendar to find out what date it is because I'm not, I don't have a calendar right in front of me. And I want this shape. That's what you gotta type in the comments. You'll be entered into the drawing. I will go live on Saturday to announce who the winner is. You have until 9 a.m. Saturday. This is the year 2020, just in case you're watching this way later. Um, but you will have a choice if you want this one, or this one, both equally amazing. <gasps> Which one do you want? So hard to tell. Anyway, um, thank you so much for watching. Make sure that you subscribe. I plan to do more giveaways in future videos. So be sure to click that subscribe button. And if you wanna see other tutorials, I will post a link here also for that. And thank you so much for watching. Keep being creative. It doesn't matter if you're good at it or not. You'll get better if you just keep doing it. All right, thanks so much for watching and I will see you soon and hopefully you're the big winner. Okay, bye.